cool. Hi guys, it's Danielle from bestproducts.com. Welcome to another exciting edition of Thirsty Thursday. Today we are super excited to have Matt and Ben here from Wandering Bear Coffee. Thank you guys so much for coming here. You're very welcome. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. Um, so in case you guys didn't know, it is National Coffee Day. Um, and what better way to drink coffee than a delicious cold brew made here in New York City. So we have Wandering Bear here to tell us uh, a little more about the brand and also how you can sip cold brew not just year round but all throughout the day as well morning afternoon night so we're excited to get going again can you guys tell us a little bit about the brand for those of us who might uh, not be super familiar yeah absolutely so we're wandering bear coffee uh based here in new york been around for about two years we make a ready to drink straight black cafe style cold brew coffee that we package in boxes just like that to go gotcha. in any home or office refrigerator Gotcha. It's all about bringing the cafe into your home or office every day. Got it. Love it. Um, and then there is sort of, maybe you guys aren't familiar, but there is this trend that's been happening all summer into the fall, um, a really fun cold brew drink that has lemonade as an ingredient. Yeah, it's starting to get really popular. Yeah. I think it's it's riffing off you know some of the Italian sparkling coffee yeah. type drinks. Yeah. Um, you know, definitely really interesting, refreshing. What's this one? It's really simple, just half and half, right? So okay. you, do, you can totally eyeball it. Half lemonade. Favorite, whatever brand of lemonade you Whatever want, you brand know. you like. We're using Nantucket Nectars. You know, if you're getting really fancy, you can make fresh squeeze squeeze it. Who has time for that, though? Not us. <laughs> um, and then half coffee. Gotcha. Simple as that. So it's sort of like an Arnold Palmer, right? Exactly. Swapping the two may, out. May, may you rest in peace. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, super simple. Garnish with a lemon. Gotcha. And you're well, good to go. Uh, Cheers. Thank Cheers. You. And Danielle, have you had coffee lemonade before trying this? I have had it. Um, I had it in the in the pit of the New York summer um, at a cafe in Brooklyn, but I haven't had it with Wandering Bear Coffee, so let's give it a try. I ate an ice cube by accident. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking really it could be totally honest. It's really good. Um, I like that it's tart. Yeah, so it can be, and it's definitely, I mean, listen, it's lemonade and coffee. Lemon and coffee is not always something people are used to drinking. So mm -hmm. it does have, like, you have a bit of the tartness, sweetness from the lemonade, and then yep. a little bit of, like, the bitter fullness from the coffee. Yeah. What I think really works well about Wandering Bear in, in a drink like this is the richness, the boldness of yeah. our brew. It's, it's very strong coffee, so you still get that rich, smooth coffee flavor yeah. that complements the lemon. It's not, it's not dominated one way or another. No, it's not. It's all. It's like there's two different things going on, and you get. It's not like one is overpowering the other. It's it's a nice harmony going on. It also, it makes the cold brew taste a little bit more chocolatey at the end, which is weird. Yeah, but I mean, like, which which you don't expect at all. Not not at all, but it's yeah. really good. It's cool. cool. Um, also, seems like a good medium for adding other things. You can totally spice this up. Make it a bit of a, <laughs> make it a, bit of a John Daly. Add a little bit of bourbon. Okay. Um, sometimes with the bourbon, I like to throw mint in there. It's like really. It's pretty fancy. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's good. Very sophisticated. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, absolutely. They grew up in the south, so like you know, they're accustomed to putting mint in lemonade. In everything. Drinks. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> it's a southern thing. Okay, cool. Um, so this is great for morning. I feel like this is like a nice kind of perky pick me up for the morning. Absolutely, and depending on how much you want to drink, like if you're more sensitive to caffeine, it's actually not a bad way to cut dilute it a little bit, right? A little bit, exactly. Totally. Okay. What about uh, what else can you kind of mix um, with cold brew? So, I mean, generally speaking, um, it's a good mixer with vodkas, tequilas, bourbons, is yep. what we tend to play with. I think the next one we're gonna make, we call it a brown bear. It's a great brunch cocktail. Um, yeah, it's really any time of day, brunch, evening, but it has uh, Kahlua, cream, vodka, and cold brew. We'll make that now. Okay. But again, super simple, two parts cold brew to one part the rest. So one part vodka, one part Kahlua, one part, we like to use half and half for the fullness. So we'll, we'll get that going. Gotcha. And that's a good idea for brunch too, because sometimes if you're like me, you're at brunch and you all, all of a sudden have like five different glasses in front of you because you have water, necessary water, and then you have yeah, coffee, absolutely. and then a Bloody Mary or whatever. Um, and then you're like, why do I have five drinks in front of me? This is a good way to combine at least like yeah, the cocktail and the coffee. Yeah, you're consolidating containers. Yeah, you're, you're, you're hitting saving a water. <laughs> you're hitting a surprising number of food groups here actually. You got that's dairy, true. you got coffee, yeah. which is at the, the top of the pyramid for us. It's perfect. All you need is a bagel and you're good to go. Absolutely. <laughs> First and foremost, it's really awesome. And then if you don't have a, a handy jigger at home, you can probably just eyeball this, I'd imagine, right? Honestly, yeah, definitely we, eyeball. We, eyeball, eyeball most things. we eyeball most things. <laughs> so, I mean, that's one of my favorite parts of the Wonder Bear packaging, actually, yeah. is that you can take as much or as little as you need without worrying about it getting stale or going stale. Yeah, I so love the use, tap on this. You can use an ounce, you could use 
36 ounces in the, in the smaller pack. Totally. And how so many? Who wants it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That whole thing's for me. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll, we'll share. Yeah, let's <laughs> split it up. I definitely sure want great. some. Here, cheers. Thank Happy you. National Coffee Day. Hey, to you too. Cheers. <laughs> to you as well. Thank you. Cheers. cheers. How is it? Very good. Oh, it's delicious. It's like yeah. a, it's like a boozy milkshake. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. And you can have that year round too. It's not just for. Oh, of course. Absolutely. I mean, what, I mean, people drink. Yeah, it's like people drink year round. Totally. I think I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Especially here. Especially here. That's true. Adam, we've watched a couple of your segments. Have you guys done things that aren't alcohol related? Yes, uh, just off camera. Yeah. I think for Thursday, <laughs> <laughs> we, we tend to mostly dabble in mixology. Yeah, it's so close to Friday. Yeah. It's yeah. Thursday. And it's like well, it's great. I mean, it's to come show. back for an amp smoothie session. Yeah. It's a lot yeah. of great yeah. smoothies. We actually, we've actually had a couple of juice yeah. brands, lovely juice brands come in to help us on Friday morning. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when you guys are usually drinking coffee, what's your go-to like order? Like, do you put anything in it? Or are you just black? Like, for me, I tend to go a straight black. Yeah, I take it with a dash of half and half. I like. I really like how the fat from the milk brings out. It rounds out the flavor. Yeah. About half the time, I'll drink a black milk. Uh, I do. It's kind of weird. For a cold brew, I just do it straight black um, over ice. But if it's hot, um, I really like raw honey in coffee, and then almond milk too. Nice. Yeah. And it's something we hear a lot actually when we're at trade shows and events is that people when trying cold brew for the first time are yeah. really surprised how smooth it is. Oh yeah, totally. It's because it's like it's just it's really smooth going down and also I find that when I add milk um, it just dilutes it too much. I guess maybe you said half and half. Yeah. I could, I could help it out a little bit, but yeah. And Absolutely. Jamie's watching and she wants an entire thing of this delivered to her office all the time. <laughs> That's great. We do that every week. We would love to deliver an entire thing of that to your office. Where, where, where does Jamie work? It. Literally right over there. Oh, that's so easy. Yeah. yeah. We'll do it. Tell her we'll be right over. Jamie, you hear that? Yeah. You're in luck, Jamie. Only because it's National Coffee Day. Yeah. Totally. Well, okay, cool. So we have one more, I think, one more drink up your sleeve that you yeah, have. This is right? this is our personal favorite. Okay, so we cool. talked a little bit before. We know you're a bourbon lover as yes, well. Absolutely. Um, so we call this one the cold fashion. Love it. So like a little bit of a little bit of cocktail history, right? The old fashioned is like the oldest, most original type of cocktail. Super simple. It's a spirit, a sugar, and a bitter, mm -hmm. right? And so we've reimagined that a little bit. We even though our coffee isn't isn't really that bitter. We use the coffee, the cold brew is the bitter. Totally. The sweetness is provided by Kahlua. Mm -hmm. And then for the um, for the spirit, we use bourbon. Love that. And so, yeah, so we'll, we'll mix that up. And also, I think the coffee is providing not just the bitterness, but a little bit of sweetness too, because it is a just tiny bit chocolatey. A little bit of sweetness and just, you know, a little bit of complexity, a little bit of dimension to the yep. flavors for sure. Gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. And so again, you know, you can eyeball it. I love or that. The, the, little, the little jigger. Um, so this one, again, super simple. One, one, and one. I mean, just like a normal old-fashioned, if you yeah. wanted to adjust the sweetness, you'd like view the Kahlua as a bit of simple syrup. Totally. So you can adjust it up or down from there. Got it. You might put a little more coffee in there if it's exactly. you know, torpian. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> We, I mean, I guess we tried to align these to date parts at the beginning, but the reality is, is these work all times of day. Works Excellent. Excellent. I want to try this one. Yeah, for sure. The cold fashion. The cold fashion. Brilliant. Cheers to you guys. Cheers. 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 Thanks cheers. for hosting Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. And in. where are you guys based? Too? As everyone's drinking, uh, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I don't work on that. But actually, so we oh, forgot to do it. Garnish it with a little. Oh man, yeah. It's like really. Little squeeze. Oh yeah. Yes, right. so now it's that was great. That was like that was a beautiful thing. We should, wish, nice we got a, wish we got a close up. You really captured all the oil. That's yeah. really uh really nice. Maybe our Mevo got in there. Very high tech camera. And for people that want to get uh wandering bear coffee, how do they do that? Do they go to a store online? I'm really home? glad you brought that up actually. We almost forgot. Look at that. <laughs> this is why one person doesn't drink during the <laughs> There we go. The only sober one here by yeah. the camera. Well, what is that? <laughs> Uh, so we are in a bunch of stores and other places, but easiest way to find us is to go to our website, wanderingbearcoffee.com, uh, and in honor of National Coffee Day and you guys having us here for the next 24 hours, if you use the promo code Best Products, you'll get $10 off any order. Yeah. Doesn't get much easier than that. I don't think you're gonna forget that code, especially for Best Products. Okay. Best Products. Just saying. Yeah. Amazing. And anything else before you guys skedaddle? Anything else going on news-wise? Are you guys going to any festivals? Anything coming up that we should know about? I'm starting to see Wandering Bear pop up in a lot of stores. Yeah, for the, sure. If uh, yeah, Whole Foods is, is one of them, that'll be 
find us in Italy around New York City. Yeah. yeah, and if you are in the New York area, uh, this Saturday actually we're doing a festival, Craft Coffee Festival in Williamsburg. It's a lot of fun, uh, okay. you know, especially if you're a coffee lover, come and kind of check out what everyone around the city has been up to. Totally. Uh, and definitely stop by the Wandering Bear booth. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll make cocktails. If you come up and tell us that you saw some best products, we show. might. Yeah, and maybe we, the end of the show, I'll just come by with a little bit of bullet bourbon. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, bring, oh, yeah. bring, yeah. Your, bring your own. Bring your own. <laughs> That'll go over well. <laughs> totally. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. You guys go check out Wandering Bear. Um, pick it up. It's delicious. Great for cocktails as well. And happy national.